All right, I hope you people like pressure because we are shooting the season finale of Riverdale. All right, we are in a morgue, and Betty has come to identify her cousin's body with Jughead. The sadness is palpable. Got it. All right, now let's make some Dale. Riverdale, episode 57, text me deadly, rolling. And action! Oh, Devin, I wanted to be the queen bay of this drab hive. But now all I want is to have my cousin back. No! I love you. No! It'll always be in your heart. No! Okay, okay, hold it. I'm sorry, uh, excuse me, actor on the gurney, are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm good if you're good. <laughs> well, I'm not good. Um, what were those sounds? Oh, just everyday corpse sounds. You know, the usual hisses and moans you get from gas escaping the body. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lionel Rogers, I play corpses. So I've been dead, what, two, three days? Yeah, sure. Great, so I'd still be releasing a lot of gas, right? I'll give you some groans, some toots, so you'll have options. All right, we're going again with no sounds from the corpse. Ah, I see. So you want this to be a totally inaccurate depiction of a dead body? Yeah, exactly. Rick, can we go again before I lose the feeling? Yes, yes, Lily. Uh, let's pick up where we left off, please. The fox ran into the volcano. I hope that's not a vocal exercise, because you will not be speaking. All right, now on your marks, get set, act. Jughead, I was an A1 river vixen, but now it feels like nothing matters. Betty, death is the wisest teacher in Riverdale. Betrayed me. Stop it! Stop it! Okay, Rick, I'm sorry. I know that was me. I was flat in that. No, it was not you, Lily. There was a man ridiculously violently thrashing next to you. Oh, um, you said to make any sound. I was just convulsing the way a normal corpse would, with no means to expel gas. All right. That's it. I want you out of here right now. I don't know, Rick. It sounds like this guy did his research. I did, I did. I, I lived in a morgue for three months. Why? Uh, it just sort of worked out for me, rent-wise. Rick, I'm kind of digging the authenticity. People, trust me. When I have finished weaving this episode of The Dale, all eyes will be on the hot teens and their steamy antics, not the corpse. Now, please, no moans, no spasms, no movement, and action! End cut. Look, let me just make sure I understand what you want, because you, sir, are a terrible director. This woman lost her cousin. Yes. And she's so overcome by grief mm -hmm. that she doesn't notice he's the only corpse in the history of the world that isn't moaning and jerking around. No. So is it the idea that she has brain damage? Uh, yeah, Rick. It seems pretty weird I wouldn't notice that my dead cousin isn't moving. Yeah, he does have a point. Fine. I give up. Failure for me is like slipping on an old coat. <laughs> you all do what you want. Roll film. This isn't film. <laughs> My poor, sweet Devin. What a cousin. Death is sad, Betty. Avenge me! 